Project 3-3 has several commands we'll review. Cat is short for concatenate. This basically just shows the contents of a file to the screen. You have tack, same thing as cat, but it displays the file in reverse order. You have head and tail. Both of these commands will show the heading of a file or the back end of a file. We have strings. You can use this to look in a binary file a program and pull out any ASCII characters found. OD will display a file in octal form. I'd use cat, head, and tail often. The others, not so much. Let's practice this in the lab. Switch to terminal 5 if you are not already there and log in as root with pass1234 as the password. Now let's try the concatenate command CAT. So we'll type CAT forward slash Etsy forward slash host and press enter. This shows us the contents of the host file. Simply two lines. Let's try cat again with an added switch. Dash n. Again, the same file. This will print line numbers. Useful if you are trying to figure out what line an error is on if you're coding. Now try tac with the same file. Notice what happened. The 127 address is no longer on top. It is at the bottom. So it simply displayed the file in reverse order. You can try OD with the same host file. This displays the file in binary or octal form. I don't know about you, but I find this pretty hard to read compared to the normal text as before. Let's check out another file. In the same folder, Etsy, let's look at init tab. We have several lines in this file. Let's count the number of lines. Let's add the dash in. I just use my up arrow key and modify the command. There are 16 lines in the file. Let's type head in the same file name. This shows the first 10 lines of the file. As a tip, we can count. I use my up arrow key. I'll use the pipe symbol that we learned about in the last project. I'll use word count and I'll tell it to count the lines by adding a dash L switch to the word count command. Pressing enter shows that it counted 10 lines were displayed by using the head command. Let's try head with the dash 5 with the same file name. This changed the output of the head command to only display five lines. Use your up arrow key and modify the five to a three. Hit enter. What happened? Well, of course, we only see the top three lines. You can even add numbers larger than 10. So if you needed to read the top 50 lines of a file, just dash five zero followed by the file name. Let's check out tail. Same file this time. Except this time we're seeing the bottom half of the file. Try tail again with the dash 5. I'm going to use my up arrow key, arrow over, and put a dash 5 to reduce typing. I press enter. Now I see the bottom five lines of the init tab file. 
Now let's check out the file command again and look at etsy slash nice. As you see, I made a mistake. It's not in the etsy folder. It says bin in the instructions. Hopefully, if you've made mistakes, you can catch that. I'll retype it with the correct directory, bin. Now I get a correct output. What type of file is this? You see elf on the screen. That is a Unix binary or Linux binary file, meaning that it is a program. So anytime the file returns elf as a file type, you know it's a program. Let's use strings. And look at the bin nice file. Press enter. Binary files are not human readable. They are readable only by the processor and to do the task that the program is supposed to do. However, sometimes there are some programming notes that are left within the program and the strings will bring those out. Also, any sets of zeros and ones that appear to be ASCII, it'll try to convert them. Let's use the up arrow key to run strings again. This time, pipe it to more. Put a semicolon in the date command. Press enter. Go and use the page down. When you're done looking at the strings, hit Q. This is the end of this lab, so you'll want to take a screenshot of your entire Oracle Linux screen and submit for this assignment. I suggest go ahead and play with cat, head, tail, look at some other files within ETC so you can become familiar with them.